If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. If you know neither the enemy nor yourself, you will succumb in every battle. Opportunities multiply as they are seized. In war, the way is to avoid what is strong and strike at what is weak. Let your plans be dark and impenetrable as night, and when you move, fall like a thunderbolt. Appear weak when you are strong, and strong when you are weak. The skillful fighter puts himself beyond the possibility of defeat. Know yourself, and you will win all battles. If you are ignorant both of your enemy and of yourself, you are sure to be defeated. Engage people with what they expect. It is what they are able to discern and confirms their projections. It settles them into predictable patterns of response, occupying their minds while you wait for the extraordinary moment, that which they cannot anticipate. He who is prudent and lies in wait for an enemy who is not will be victorious. Invincibility lies in the defense, the possibility of victory in the attack. Build your opponent a golden bridge to retreat across. If your opponent is of choleric temper, seek to irritate him. To know your enemy, you must become your enemy. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Attack is the secret of defense. Defense is the planning of an attack. If quick, I survive. If not quick, I am lost. He will win who knows when to fight and when not to fight. He who is best prepared shall never have to fear. There is no instance of a country having benefited from prolonged warfare. Speed is the essence of war. Strategy without tactics is the slowest route to victory. Tactics without strategy is the noise before defeat. Move swift as the wind and closely formed as the wood. Attack like the fire and be still as the mountain. Rouse him and learn the principle of his activity or inactivity. Force him to reveal himself so as to find out his vulnerable spots. The greatest victory is that which requires no battle. It is more important to outthink your enemy than to outfight them. He who wishes to fight must first count the cost. To win 100 victories in 100 battles is not the acme of skill. The wise warrior avoids the battle. It is not the strength of the enemy that brings you down, but the forces of your own weaknesses. When you surround an army, leave an outlet free. Do not press a desperate foe too hard. In the midst of chaos, there is also opportunity. Victorious warriors win first and then go to war, while defeated warriors go to war first and then seek to win. The supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting. Ponder and deliberate before you make a move. The opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy himself. The clever combatant imposes his will on the enemy, but does not allow the enemy's will to be able to be imposed on him. What the ancients called a clever fighter is one who not only wins, but excels in winning with ease. Be extremely subtle, even to the point of formlessness. Be extremely mysterious, even to the point of soundlessness. To see victory only when it is within the ken of the common herd is not the acme of excellence. If your opponent is of choleric temper, seek to irritate him. Great results can be achieved with small forces. He will win who, prepared himself, waits to take the enemy unprepared. One may know how to conquer without being able to do it. Treat your men as you would your own beloved sons, and they will follow you into the deepest valley. He who advances without coveting fame and retreats without fearing disgrace, whose only thought is to protect his country and do good service for his sovereign, is the jewel of the kingdom. Opportunities multiply as they are seized. Even the finest sword plunged into salt water will eventually rust.